Hello, welcome to Cool Discussions. That's Barry. I'm Chris. Today we're going to talk about the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like I should have a flashlight or something. Yeah, yeah, turn off the light. Mm. Uh, what is it The we call together the meeting of... Oh, is it on The Simpsons? Uh, no, it's um, Goosebumps. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah in the, the year... Or Quentin Brown. In the year 2000. You remember that? No. We no. Don't. <laughs> okay, so... Um, we've had a few hot nights here in Calgary, so it's been difficult sleeping, just fan at the end of my bed blowing on me at night. I have that in minus 40, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like white noise now for me to sleep. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right, um, so I had a nightmare. I honestly don't remember what it was about, but it was enough to give you that sense of creepiness, right? You know, that's the wake is, you up. It did. Mm. It, it, it wakes you up and uh, get that sense of creepy. And normally when I have that sense of creepy, I grab the blanket and I actually hide underneath <laughs> my blanket. You kind of... Right? Because uh, that's my safe place, yeah. right? It's like, okay, I'm under my blanket. Nobody can that's get right. me. No knife can come through this blanket. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And it's just like, you know, roll up and it's just like, uh, it's too warm to do this. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh, blanket and safety or... Not cool <laughs> and comfort. And it's like, oh, damn it to hell. And it's like, my bladder kicked in. So it's like, okay, that, that solved that problem. That but <laughs> So, all kidding aside, nightmares. Um, now, I don't know about you, but uh, I have reoccurring nightmares. Um, they're set in the same uh, settings. Um, I have them kind of regularly. Uh, they do have a sense of meaning to them, as dreams can and can't do, but that's a psychiatry thing. Um, sometimes, um, one of the nightmares that I have is, um, before, um, uh, gore become glorified in uh, horror movies, you know, that's how they scare people now is gore. Back when they used to creep people out. You know, not show things, you know, just make noises, maybe a little bit of shadow, that that type of thing. That give you that real sense of creep. Now, there's this thing inside of that a particular set of nightmares. It's not always in the same place, this one, but it's the same thing that's after me every single time. Um, I've had it in abandoned buildings, in my home... In a school, outside, uh, post-apocalyptic environments. But it's always that sense of uh, creep. Being it's chased or being followed. Being followed, being watched. And it's never a sense of... Uh, it's a sense of... Uh, it's never a sense of dread. It's a sense of, like, something bad is just about to happen. You're right on the cusp. Have you ever it. Googled it to see what it means? No, because I don't want to know that this thing know. might actually exist in real life. Because, you know, I've woken up... Um, like with a cold sweat or... Uh, that, but I've woken up in some cases... Um, okay, it got me once. This thing got me. And you know how in horror movies people scream as they're... Pull I screamed in my dream, like one of those death-curdling screams. And I woke up, and I was, ah! I woke up doing that. <laughs> that's, I think that's only happened to me once. That That's how like bad. That. Now, there's been a couple of times where this thing has been close, and I've woken up screaming in my dream, and I wake up with my mouth open. <sighs> right? But I woke up the missus, and she rolled over and was like, what's going on? <laughs> Because <laughs> she didn't just wake up in a nightmare. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so it's kind of like you know, there, 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 there's that, and then there's the, uh, my Boston Pizza dream, which is horrible. Um, for those people who have worked in the food service industry, um, we have these little printers that print off the bills that you need to make the food with. They have a very particular noise. Now, this noise I hear quite well in my dream. And it will be continuous. Haunts you. Oh, very haunting. I woke up one time and go, not in my house, not in my house. And I was like, 
you know, just looking around going, oh, God, it's not in my house. I wonder what that means. Like, I wonder what that means, like, when you have those type of dreams. Because like, I don't... You're I've, stuck. I've never, like... And see, some things I do know, but that creepy feeling, I don't want to know it exists outside of <laughs> my head. Because if it exists outside of my head, oh boy. I'm screwed. <laughs> You know, I don't. Uh, I don't regularly have nightmares. Um, I don't really regularly remember my dreams. Um, I don't. Uh, sometimes I can recall them. Like I've had, like everybody's had the falling dream where you wake up and go, oh, where you're jerked awake and stuff like that. But uh, I've never. I've. I, I don't think I've ever had like a. As an adult, anyways, uh, any kind of nightmares where I'm like, oh, that was scary as. As crap as shit, you know. Well, like, um, good for you. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I have. Like, I don't. No, that, that, that's awesome. Like, I have. A, I have a lot of dreams of like past like scenarios that I remember, mm-hmm. and like how they play over in my head. And sometimes I wake up and I remember them, and I'm like, "Well, what the fuck was I thinking about that?" Um, but uh, um, you would think that I would have had nightmares because when I was a child, I saw a ghost. In our house. I remember that. Um, There's been more than one incident with uh, ghosts in your house. Actually. I only remember this one. This one vividly sticks out in my brain. I was sleeping. We were in Abbotsford, BC when we lived out there. and you know, I was in my own room. I can't remember how old yep. I was. Uh, but I was young. Yep. And uh, I remember waking up in the middle of the night. And I remember seeing this like figure, white. You know, typical goat. You know, kind of walking past my room. And I went, I was kind of, what the heck? And it stopped. And it turned into my room, and it went like this, put its hand out. So I got scared, and uh, I uh, I was like, what the heck? And then it walked into our parents' room, and I was like, okay. It was just mom. Whatever, it was just mom. But I, I got scared, and I ended up going into my brother's room and sleeping on his floor. And then I woke up the next day, and I asked, asked, her, asked her mom, I said, were you walking by my room? She's like, no, I never woke up last night. I went... Yeah. Oh. It was it was really interesting. Oh. From an older brother standpoint, it was really funny to see him terrified, but he just turned white as a sheet. And so yeah, surprisingly he was I've never so had nightmares like that. scared ever since then. And so ever since then, like I get scared by movies like I, I that think, creep factor. I think Michael Myers is is the creepiest dude out there. Um like paranormal activity movies, stuff like that, like the Blair Witch Project. Uh, Paranormal Activity, those movies like Carrie, I, I I've never watched Carrie because I can't I can't watch that stuff because I, I believe in that stuff and it creeps me out. And uh, like the Ouija board stuff <laughs> gives me the heebie jeebies, man. <laughs> and but I don't have like nightmares about it. I don't have now watch tonight. I don't have a fucking nightmare. Yeah, uh, very true, Drew. Um, but that, that's just, that's the thing. It's like I I have those nightmares. Whereas movies like that, sometimes there are certain aspects of a movie that just give me the heebie-jeebies, and I think it's because it hits that brain yeah. going, that's your nightmare. Yeah, that's your nightmare. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, exactly. It's like, that's your nightmare in real life. It's like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. It's like, no, 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 no. 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 So that, but I, I watch horror movies. I enjoy watching I horror too, movies. I do too, yeah. Um, I like horror movies, but they, yeah, I don't know, something just resonates me with, like, because I think, I've even been in some other situations where, you know, when you're younger, you hear about these, like, uh, like, uh, these witchcraft things, and you, you fool around with them. You're kind of like Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary and um, and there was this other one. I've always had this fear for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know where it came from. I in a dark house, in a dark room, or if there's like a, or if, if there's an opening, I cannot sit with my back to it. Ever, I can never. I I I have to have a wall behind me if it's in a dark area. I have to have something. I remember. I was with a bunch of friends in high school and we were doing something and we were at somebody's house and we were playing around with spiritual crap. And uh, we were in a circle and I got put right where the kitchen was where it was wide open and dark. <laughs> and I went and I said to the person across from me, I said, we have to switch spots. <laughs> Why? I said, I can't sit here. I can't sit here with this here. I don't care. Think I'm a wimp. Think I'm whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> but I could not do it. Even then, I didn't get night. Like, I didn't... After that, after we played around with nothing happened, and it was like, whatever. I still won't go into the bathroom at midnight, and I've turned the light on. Uh, actually, I have that fear, too, actually. Uh, Run up the stairs quick when it's dark. <clears throat> um, see, that doesn't bother me nearly as much. It's the... When I go to the bathroom at night, I actually turn the light on. I can't go into a dark bathroom. Nope. Um, 
Yeah, uh, it, it's one of those weird things, and it, it's funny because it's like uh, the missus, she's always like, oh, why do you do this? And I'm like, well, it's because of a childhood fear. Yeah. And it's like, well, what kind of childhood fear? It's like, well, honestly, if I tell you, you'll either laugh at me Probably or laugh, get the yeah. same fear, yeah. and then you'll be doing the same thing, and I don't want to do that to yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's cool stuff, though, like to think about like when you... Like what your mind does while it's sleeping, and we, you know, obviously most of us never remember our dreams. Like obviously, you, you know, you remember significant reoccurring things, and obviously they mean something. Like maybe he's crazy, maybe, maybe he's. I I don't know why, but dreams stick to me. Um, uh, for that matter, uh, this dream that I had when I was like sixteen, I still actually remember, and I. Every now and then I have to think, but once I start to think, it comes back like I just had it. Mm -hmm. And it's really amazing. Like, I drew pictures from it and stuff like that. And it's still one of those things where, in dreams, are you always helpless or can you actually do stuff? Uh, I don't know. I can usually do stuff because I have, like, I have dreams about scenarios in my past where I play them out differently. Mm. I don't. Uh, okay. I don't have like where I'm in a in the woods running from somebody or anything like that. Or see where as uh, did like there's been a few times where I know a dream has been heading towards that nightmare type scenario, and my conscious brain will go, no, I don't want to go there. So it it actually changes the dream, and I start doing things different. So like I know that I have some semblance of control but I maybe think that's why my nightmares are so much more worse because I can't control them and I know full well that I've been able to and I in this situation I can't and it's just terrifying the door just opened by itself so yowzers <laughs> no cat apparently Either the ghosts are coming in yeah uh yeah sure come on in make down. yourself comfortable feel free feel free to sit make yourself noticeable on the camera or something yeah yeah please just please a do. little image right yeah. in the back there please do yeah please please do that would be pretty cool interesting. i'm yeah. very interested in like that kind of stuff like the paranormal it scares me and it gives me those uh tingly tinglys up the the back of my head but it's very interesting like, when I watch it, it's funny. I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but when I watch, a, like, a scary movie that I find scary, the top of my head gets very hot. Uh-huh. Like, really? insanely okay. hot. If I'm, like, scared, it's, like, hot. You can cook an egg Heat. On just... Whoa, my head is, like, on fire. So it's weird. It's just the weirdest thing. Oh, wow. No. Yeah. Um, uh, for whenever I get the creeps, it's always the uh, goosebumps. The yeah, you goosebumps. get that. Yeah, yeah, you get that, but then it travels over. <laughs> and it's just so weird, and it just it just started happening recently. Not it hasn't been my whole life, but recently, in the past oh, five yeah. years or so, I've, it's happened. So maybe it's because I'm older. I don't know, but, but. <laughs> uh, okay. So just to leave off on another funny note, um, one nightmare I had actually involved my parents. I don't remember the whole thing, but I do remember this. Is like I started attacking our mom um, in my dream, and like I was just beating the piss out of her I woke up and I was on top of the missus going Ah. now I wasn't it wasn't closed fist hitting hard it was uh, 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 uh. but just imagine you waking up and somebody's on top of you and uh, and she she was so worried at that point in time. And it's like, oh my... She talked She talked to her mother and it's like, do I have to worry about your son? Is he a problem? Does he do this? That's crazy. <laughs> I, you know, I've never had an experience where I wake up from a dream and I'm doing something. Ever. I've never, like, woken up. Maybe I sleepwalk. I don't know. But I, I always end up in bed. I always wake up in bed. Well, there you go. You don't really sleepwalk. Yeah, I always but, wake up in bed. I think my kids sleepwalk, so... Yeah? I think so, yeah. Because I think... Does he, he sleeps in a bed now? Yeah, we've uh, okay. we've cut a couple times. We've caught him like at his door, and he's completely out of it. So we just kind of walk him back to bed. And... <laughs> All right, go back to sleep. And then in the morning, you ask him, "Do you remember waking up?" No. So I don't know about sleepwalking or just no, no. That's it's waking just... up being half groggy because yeah, that could quite possibly be it. It all depends on what they do. 
Yeah, because I know that a few times I've like woken up and then I go to the bathroom and I kind I know that I'm doing it, but it's foggy. Like mm. I wake up and go, did I wake up and do something? Like that? Um, but that's the thing. It's like sometimes sleepwalking is a real thing. Uh, you know, oh, it's definitely we've all real. Heard, we've it's definitely all heard. Yeah, stories about people sleepwalking. I've heard story of somebody cooking a meal while sleepwalking, and it's just like cooking a meal. I know that's crazy. Ain't? <laughs> oh, that's Insane. And you know, and end up losing a hand or burning yourself. Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. It is. It um, just shows you that the mind can do wonderful things. It More is crazy things. Oh, very crazy things. Hope you guys all have great sleeps tonight. <laughs> now, don't now everybody run to your bathroom. Turn out the lights. Keep on. It's scary in there. It sure is. <laughs> I will forever, my whole life, be terrified of the dark in the bathroom. Yes, with a mirror. I agree. Forever. I don't care if it's real. I don't care if it's fake. I don't give a crap. I yep. will uh, never. I totally agree with I him on that. I will never, ever do that. Ever. <laughs> I don't care. That's how scared we are. I, I do not care. I will never play that game ever in my life. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys could figure out what game that is. But we recommend don't play. I don't even know if it's real. I don't I, I don't I don't know. Okay, we've heard enough to make nope. it scary that we don't want to ever deal with it. So, nope, no, thank you. Yes, subscribe to us on YouTube. Yeah, watch us on YouTube, like us on YouTube and Facebook. You can even follow us on Twitter. You can uh, listen to us on iTunes. You can subscribe to us at the same time. All those social media things. Yeah. Yes, come on, we all know what we're doing here. Do it all. You know, get all the news, all the latest about nightmares. And time travel. <laughs> yes. Goodbye. See ya.